Um, Tom, it's it's a really difficult problem trying to get the the protocol sorted out first because of, of Europe's involvement and then trying to get Stormont back on track. Um, it, it's trying to get a sort of dance organised almost. It certainly is, and there are so many different moving parts. But if we think back to late 2019, when Boris Johnson uh, was newly Prime Minister trying to renegotiate Theresa May's agreement with the European Union, interestingly, it was a meeting between Boris Johnson and the then T-shirt Leon Varadkar yep. that unstuck that process mm. to some degree. That was a meeting in the Wirral, so another part of uh, northwest England that really played host to something that was uh, then seen as a big unsticking moment to push through those negotiations. Now, optimists might think that today could be a similar moment, having the Prime Minister getting the opportunity to sit down with the Irish Taoiseach and uh, really talking through some of the sticky issues that could then persuade Brussels, because ultimately the United Kingdom doesn't negotiate with Ireland, it yeah. negotiates with the European Commission. Well, if Ireland has a suggestion for the European Commission that could move things forward, that could be a big unsticking moment. Right, because I, I was going to ask you um, about who's uh, actually in Blackpool, because mm. Chris Heaton Harris has said, well, actually, this is all up to James Cleverley, the Foreign Secretary. He has to sort that, this out with, with the European Commission. So mm. are all the constituent parts there to actually sort this out today? There will not be a deal in right, okay. today. Today there are lots of different meetings and uh, a lot of mood music being set. Let's not forget the British Irish Council isn't, as the name would suggest, just a meeting of the British Prime Minister mm. and the Irish Taoiseach. It's actually a council of the British Isles. So it's yep. Guernsey, Jersey, the Isle oh, right. of Man, Scotland, Wales, all of these devolved administrations, most of them, of course, within the auspices of uh, the British state but Ireland separate as well. It was a, a council formed to, to have a sort of informal biannual talks of all of these different parts of the, of the governance of these islands. Um, and so there will be lots else on the agenda as okay. well. But just crucially, this in-person meeting between the Prime Minister mm. and the Irish Taoiseach could be that unsticking moment, could agree some things in principle that then get passed on to the negotiators in Brussels that then moves this forward. And that's potentially why we've seen a delay to this process of calling an election right. in Northern Ireland. But on that very point, now um, Chris Heaton Harris is saying, I think January the 19th, he was saying as, as a date, we've got to have the elections by then. I mean, the DUP uh, basically saying, well, that's not going to change anything, even if we go ahead of those elections. Although Sinn Féin say, well, you know, we'll probably do quite well again in those particular elections. Um, is it going to muddy the waters even more going back to the ballot box? Well, it's interesting. There are lots of different groups who think they have something to gain or otherwise from these elections. Clearly, the DUP have drawn a very clear line in the sand. Unless there is movement on the yeah, protocol, yeah. they are not forming an, exec an executive. That's basically as simple as it Still is. Still in so, limbo. So unless there is some movement on the protocol, Protocol, it's very hard to see how elections aren't avoided if not delayed. But I think the fact that they have been delayed rather than gunning forward for another set of elections does mean that there is some optimism okay. around some sort of deal.